1.7 million were there for his birth. 220 countries tuned in for his first step. The world stood still for that stolen kiss. And as he grew, so did the technology. An entire human life recorded on an intricate network of hidden cameras and broadcast live and unedited 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to an audience of It's been. I don't know about you, I was on pins and needles the entire time. Hello, and good evening. I'm your host, Mike Michelson, and welcome to True Talk, our forum for issues growing out of the show. But tonight, something very special indeed. A rare and exclusive interview with the show's conceiver and creator. So, come with us now as we go live to the Lunar Room on the 221st floor of the Omnicam Ecosphere. That's where we'll find the world's greatest televisionary the designer and architect of the world within a world that is Sea Haven Island, Crystal. Before we begin, I'd like to thank you on behalf of our audience for granting this exclusive interview. We know how demanding your schedule is, and we all know how jealously you guard your privacy. This, sir, is indeed an honor. Don't mention it. Well, the catalyst for the recent dramatic events on the show has been, of course, Truman's father, Kirk, and his attempt to infiltrate the show. But before we get into that, I think it's worth noting that this is not the first time that someone from the outside has attempted to reach Truman, is it? We have had our close calls in the past. Truman! Oh. It's television! Yes! Yes! I did it! Uh, on the Truman Show! But there's never been anything to compare with uh, this most recent breach in security, the, the first intruder to be a former cast member. A dead one at that. Gotta say, writing Kirk back in, master stroke. Since Kirk started this whole crisis in Truman's life, I came to the conclusion that he was the only one who could end it. Truman! Truman! No! That's off limits! What? What's over there? Nothing. It's dangerous, that's all. You've got to know your limitations, Truman. But let's remind viewers of exactly why Dad was written out in the first place. As Truman grew up, we were forced to manufacture ways to keep him on the island. I like to be an explorer. Like the Great Magellan. Oh, well, you're too late. There's really nothing left to explore. Finally, I came up with a concept of Kirk's drowning. Most of it. Truman's been terrified of the water ever since. When Kirk read the synopsis for the Death at Sea episode, he was disappointed, to say the least. And I'm sure that's what caused him to break back onto the set. But how do you intend to explain his 22-year absence? Amnesia. Brilliant. Let's take some of those viewer phone calls. Charlotte, North Carolina, you're on with Kristoff. Uh, yeah, uh, hi, Kristoff. Uh, I was just wondering how many cameras you got there in that town. Somewhere in the vicinity of 5,000. Oh, that's a lot of cameras. Remember, we started with just one. He was uh, curious from birth. <laughs> premature by two weeks. It was almost as if he couldn't wait to get started. And of course, his eagerness to leave his mother's womb uh, was the very reason he was the one who was elected. In competition with five other unwanted pregnancies, the casting of a show determined by an air date, Truman was the one who arrived on cue. Incidentally, uh, I believe Truman is the first child to have been legally adopted by a corporation? That's correct. The show uh, has generated enormous revenues now equivalent to the gross national product of uh, a small country. People forget it takes the population of an entire country to keep the show running. Mm -hmm. Since the show is on 24 hours a day without commercial interruption, uh, all those staggering revenues are generated by product placement. That's true. Everything on the show is for sale, from the actor's wardrobe, food products, to the very homes they live in. And, uh, of course, all of it available in the Truman catalog, and operators are standing by. Christoph, let me ask you. Why do you think that uh, Truman has never come close to discovering the true nature of his world until now? We accept the reality of the world with which we're presented. It's as simple as that. The Hague for Christoph. Hello. 
The Hague. All right, we've lost that call. Let's go to Hollywood, California. You're on True Talk. Hi, Christoph. I'd just like to say one thing. You're a liar and a manipulator, and what you've done to Truman is sick. Well, we remember this voice, don't we? How could we forget? Uh, let's go to another call. What do we no, have? no, 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 it's fine. It's, it's fine, Mike. I, I love to reminisce with former members of the cast. Sylvia, as you announced so melodramatically to the world, do you think because you batted your eyes that Truman once flirted with him, stole a few minutes of airtime with him to thrust yourself and your politics into the limelight, that you know him? that you know what's right for him. You really think you're in a position to judge him? What right do you have to take a baby and, and, and turn his life into some kind of mockery? Don't you ever feel guilty? I have given Truman the chance to lead a normal life. The world, the place you live in, is the sick place. Sea Haven is the way the world should be. He's not a performer. He's a prisoner. Look at him. Look at what you've done to him. He could leave at any time. If his was more than just a vague ambition, if he was absolutely determined to discover the truth, there's no way we could prevent him. I think what distresses you, really, caller, is that ultimately, Truman prefers his cell, as you call it. Well, that's where you're wrong. You're so wrong, and he'll prove you wrong. Well, aside from the uh, heated comments of a very vocal minority, it's been an overwhelmingly positive experience. Yes, for Truman and for the viewing public. Well, Christoph, I can't thank you enough for giving so generously of your time tonight. I think it's safe to say that now that this crisis is behind us and that Truman is back to his old self, we can look forward to some exciting new developments. Well... Mike, the big news is that Merrill will be leaving Truman in an upcoming episode. And a new romantic interest will be introduced. Uh-huh. I'm determined the television's first on-air conception will still take place. Well, another television milestone straight ahead. You heard it here first. It has been a singular honor and a pleasure, sir. Crystal, thank you. Thank you, Mike.